I know for certain that something is wrong with that individual and that person will do it again and possibly even escalate and move on to people. So my name is Deanna Thompson and you may know me as Body Movin' from Netflix's Don't F With Cats. For people like me, you want to figure things out. You, you can't just let things go. You become almost obsessed, um, where it becomes like a living and breathing thing that you need to get answers for. So you have to be like really careful not to get too attached. You also have to be really careful not to like accuse pe people publicly. Like that's really dangerous. You have to, you can't like just th start throwing accusations out against people because you don't know who's on the other end of the keyboard and you don't know their mental state. We do everything like super private. We don't post public information unless the person has like basically been convicted at that point. Um, we don't really do that at all because you just have to be so careful. We witnessed it firsthand. I've experienced my own danger with being a web sleuth. And even though it was nothing, it scared the crap out of me. And the danger would come in a couple different ways, I think. One is the person or thing that you're investigating finds out that you're, you're, that you're investigating them. And then they start investigating you. So like the tables are turned now and everything is now focused on you. And that's a dangerous thing because the people that are doing these crimes, most of the time, they want attention. And what better attention to be like, I'm killing these kittens. Um, how great would it be if I killed the person that's investigating me killing these kittens? I'll get a lot of press for that. Um, but another thing that's dangerous is getting too invested in it. Um, you know, there's the, a quote that Luca often sent to me. Um, Luca is the person um, that we were looking at that was in the documentary, Don't F With Cats. And I don't remember the exact quote, and, and I'm sure you guys can edit this and look it up and put it on the screen or something, but it's the abyss quote by Nietzsche. It's the, you know, if you stare too long at the abyss, the abyss stares back at you. So he was like recognizing that I was getting too invested in finding him and would often tag me on like a 4chan or 7chan post and be like, body moving. The longer you stare at the abyss, the stare, you know, the abyss stares back at you. And every time that happened, I would be like, fuck, he's right. I need to step away for like a couple days. Um, so you get that. That's another danger that any web sleuth can get into is that they're just so invested in finding this person that they lose all re all sense of reality around them. And that's a dangerous thing to do. And your mental health is too important to do that. I've had to go to therapy um, because of this, this work. Um, and there's a lot of guilt that comes with this work because you want to be able to prevent the next one, but then the next one happens because you didn't find out the information in time. And there's also a lot of like, oh God, humanity is so gross. You know, like we are so gross. Why are we doing this? So I had to go to therapy um, and it's out of my own pocket. I have to pay for this. So it's not like I have a professional network to rely on, you know, like, like uh, people in law enforcement would. The first thing I would tell the people that are interested in web sleuthing is you can't be emotional. So if you're an emotional person, this is not gonna be um, a, good, a good area for you to go down. Um, you, when you're an emotional person, I'm an emotional person, so I know this. When you're an emotional person, um, your your anger and your rage over the things that you're investigating sometimes cloud your judgment. So I've learned to kind of and just look at the facts. You know what I mean? Um, and the more you look at the facts, the more you get enraged, and the more you have to calm down. So being an emotional person is a bad thing. Um, so if you're an emotional person, you really have to learn how to tame your emotions. You don't want to add to the noise. Uh, the second thing I would do is go join the Web Sleuths website and just observe. Pay, don't participate, just observe. I learned so much by just watching. 
you, sometimes just watching, you'll get more knowledge than actually participating. So you don't always have to have a voice, you just sometimes have to listen. Um, the third thing I would tell somebody is, don't be afraid of technology. Um, technology sometimes is this big scary org that people are like afraid to like look in, like how do I figure out where this email actually came from? People are afraid to like use tools to figure out you know, those, those answers. And I would say don't be afraid um, of technology.